Shalom Yasharel. Shalom. To the four corners of the earth. To those who are out there that's listening in and tuning in. Peace and blessings to you guys. Peace and blessings. To Jews, which will be consist of the African American, the Native American, and the Latino American. Right. And also to the Greeks, to the Gentiles. Right. Those Jews also who have converted being Greek, right, that got Hellenized during the Roman start of the Roman Empire. Some of our people went into a Hellenization of the Greeks, of the Gentiles. All right. Um you can get that account in Second Maccabees. Hey, right, Second Maccabees. So according to the book of James Um, slot. According to the book of James. Chapter 5, verse 19. Brethren, if any of you do error from the truth, and one convert him, let him know that he which converteth the sin, the sinner from the error of his way, shall save his soul from death. And she'll hide a multitude of sins. So, if you, you can convert somebody back to the Most High, right? Then, and that person acknowledges, right? You have basically saved his soul from internal damnation. You have saved him from the error of his own ways, right? So, let's go to Acts, chapter 13, verse 41. Behold, his despisers and wonder and perish, for I work a work in your days, a work which he shall in no wise believe, though a man declare it unto you. And when the Jews were gone out of the synagogue, the Gentiles besought that these words might be preached to them the next Sabbath. So, you know, you have Jews and you have Gen Greeks right here and Gentiles right here, right? But let's see what's going to go on. Let's see this. 43. Now when the congregation was broken up, many of the Jews and religious proselytes followed Paul and Barnabas, who speaking to them persuaded them to continue the grace of God. And the next Sabbath day... Almost the whole city together to hear the word of Elohim. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spake against those things were spoken by Paul and, contrad and contradicting them. Slaken. And contradicting and blasphemy. Let me read that again. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spake against those things were, which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. So... The Jews will be consist of our our people, the the the, the, the African American man, the, the 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 Latino American and the Native American. Those people, right? Well, around this time frame, around the Roman time era, right? It was Southern Kingdom, which will which was consist of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, right? Of course, you had maybe maybe you had some other Israelites as well, because. You can get the account in, I believe, in Second Esdras, right? About the ten tribes departing, right? And they and they they go into the land of Astareth, which is over here in North America, right? Those people was already settlers over here in the land of North America. Right. Certain the Jews that was discriminizing and blaspheming and contradicting what Paul and Barnabas was saying that Christ was the Messiah. Through Christ, right, you can you can achieve the everlasting life. 
Verse 46, Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of Allah Hayyam should first have been spoken to you. So the word of God right, is firstly spoken to the Jews. Right, just like how we have certain brothers and sisters go out, or certain brothers go out there that are teachers, they only seek those who are Israelites, those who are Jews, basically. Right. So, with this, it lets you know that even those people don't believe. Some of them don't believe in Christ. Some of them don't believe in everlasting glory that Christ spoke that Christ speaks about. Some of them don't believe in an eternal life, right? Some of them just don't believe in Christ at all, right? But there are certain Gentiles that do, right? So I'm gonna read this, verse forty six. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, "It was necessary that the word of Allah Hayyam shall first have been spoken to you." But seeing he put away from you and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to a Gentiles. For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have said thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. So, the listen, know that salvation is unto the ends of the earth to Jews and to the Gentiles as well. Let them, you know what I'm saying, let them come and be partakers, right? That's what's letting you know, right? To the to the because there might be some Gentiles out there or some Greek out there that don't believe, but that's okay that they don't believe because there are some Greeks and some Gentiles that do believe in Christ, right? And they're the ones to partake in that glory, right? The Book of Acts. Chapter 18, verse 4. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks. And when Silas and Timotheus were come from Macedonia, which Macedonia was a Greek country, right? Paul was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Yahashua was Hamashiach, meaning Jesus was the Messiah. Right. He told that to the Jews. Right. But let's see what the Jews did. And when they opposed themselves and blasted him, he shook his raiment, meaning they didn't they stood their ground and said, No, he's not the Messiah. Right. He didn't he didn't perform those miracles. Right. You don't know what you're talking about. Right. See, our very own people deny Christ like that sometimes. Right. Verse 6, And when they opposed themselves and blasted him, he shook his raiment and said unto them, Your blood be upon your own heads. I am clean. From henceforth I will go unto the Gentiles. So, right, they firstly spoke to the Jews. The Jews, some of them declined. And then they went to go preach to the Gentiles so they can have light as well. Right. Because some Gentiles actually do believe. All right, Romans 15 and 8. Romans 15 and 8. Now it said that Yahashua Mashiach was a minister of the circumcision for the truth of Allah Hayyam, to confirm the promises made unto the fathers and that the Gentiles might glorify God for His mercy. As it is written, for this cause I will confess to thee among the Gentiles and sing unto thy name. And again, he said, rejoice he Gentiles with his people. So who is his people? He's speaking about with God's people. Right? Verse 11. And again, praise Adonai, all ye Gentiles, and laud him, all ye people. Because there are some Gentiles that actually do believe in this everlasting glory, this everlasting life, right? This joy, this peace, this happiness, right? And... No one can take that away from them, right? Because they got faith that they 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 got faith already that they already hold to that, right? So, don't don't try don't try to push them away, or 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 discredit them because they got faith, right? They got faith. Right? Isaiah sixteen three.
Right, Isaiah 6, 3 and 3. And that Gentiles should come to the light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. So the Gentiles shall seek and come to the light, right? To the light, right? And kings to the brightness of the rising. Lift up the eyes, lift up thine eyes, run about and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then shall then thou shalt see and follow together, and thine heart shall fear, and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come, shall come unto thee. So, see, the forces of the Gentiles shall come to thee, and they, they, they should, they should, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna bow down to you, right? Isaiah forty nine twenty three, right? Isaiah forty nine twenty three. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. They shall bow down to thee with their face toward the earth, and lick up the dust of thy feet. And I shall know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. So the kings of this earth, and the, and the queens of this earth, they shall be your nursing father and nursing mother, right? And those are the people that shall, are going to bow down to you, right? Isaiah 16 and 16. Isaiah chapter 16, verse 16. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breasts of kings, and thou shalt know that I, Yahweh, am thy, salvation, am thy Savior and Redeemer, the Mighty One of Yaquab. Right? So, with this, it lets you know, right, that we're the ones to get fed, right, the, the milk. From the Gentiles, right? Which, shoot, that's like that's like that's like uh, we what we was doing back in the days, and how they used to have our nursing mother feed their little babies, right? But nowadays the reverse now is gonna reverse. Not nowadays, but the verse, the the role will be reversed. Slack. Okay, Micah, chapter four, verse one. Micah 4 and 1. But in, in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of Yasharel shall be established in the top of the mountains. And it shall be exalted above the hills and people shall follow unto it. Right. So in that day the house of Yahweh right, shall be exalted. And many nations shall come and say come and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh. So let them go up. Let them come. Right, let them come down and worship before God. All right, let them worship God. Right, and and let them and let them, you know what I'm saying, be at the mercy of God. So let them come and join. And let us go up to the mountain of Yahuwah and to the house of Yahuwah. It's like into the house of Allahayim of Yaquab, and we will teach us of His ways. And we will walk in his paths, for the law shall go forth of Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among many people, and rebuke strong nations afar off, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into spring hooks. Nations shall not lift up a sword against nations, neither shall they learn war any more. So during that day, right, these people will basically be subjection unto you, basically. Right. John chapter 12 verse 20. John chapter 12 verse 20. Chapter 12 verse 20. And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came therefore to Philip which was of Bethesda of Galilee and desired him saying, Sir, we will see, we will. We would see Yahashua, Jesus. Philip cometh and telleth Andrew, and again Andrew and Philip tell Jesus. And Jesus answered them, saying, The hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. See, these people wanted to be these people want to glorify Christ. They want to worship Christ. They want to acknowledge what Christ has proclaimed. Right? That everlasting glory, that righteousness, that joyness, that peace, that love that people want. 
right? Forever and never and never, right? Not internal damnation like how Revelation has spoken, right? But that everlasting glory. Acts chapter 13 verse 47. Acts chapter 13 verse 47. For so hath Adonai commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles, that thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. So rearrating itself once all over again, right? That, you know, that salvation should be unto the ends of the whole earth, right? According to a Jew and according to the Greek. Alright, so, let's go to Luke, chapter 24, verse 47. Luke 24 and 47. And thy repentance and remissions of sin should be preached in his name among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. So, there you have it. And thy repentance and remission of sins... To be preached in his name among all nations, right? In the name of who? The name of Christ. The name of Jesus, right? Yahashua Mashiach, right? Beginning at Jerusalem. And he are witnesses of these things. So there was witnesses already of those things, right? So the Gentiles, they believed in Christ. The Jews believed in Christ, right? So... Zechariah chapter 2 verse 11. And many nations shall be joined to Yahweh on that day and shall be my people. And I will deliver in the midst of thee. And thou shalt know that Yahweh Sabaoth hath sent me unto thee. And Yahweh shall inherit Ju Judah, his portion in the holy land, and shall choose Jerusalem again. Be silent, all, O all flesh, before Yahweh, for he is raised up out of his holy in habitation. So, once all over again, that many nations shall join us. So let them join Israel, you know. Let them join, let them be partakers, right? Just, you know, just correct them and choose, and, and, and choose them that are wise, right, to be, to be, to be very good, good servants, basically. Or for them to have a good service unto you. Not servants, but a good service unto you. Amos chapter 9 verse 12. Amos 9 and 12. That they may possess the raiment of Edom and of all the heathen which are called by my name, saith Yahweh that doth this. So you should possess them. Just like in Leviticus chapter 25 verse 45, it speaks about possessing and inheriting them. Right? So we should possess them. The, the Edom and the heathen. Right? So with that, salvation to the whole earth, right, to the Jews and to the